I'm Laura, I'm a third year film production student and this is the University of Lincoln campus tour. This is University of Lincoln Library, come here for all your study needs. It has computers, printers and loads of books. There's also an inquiries desk if you need any help while there. Here there is also the Careers and Employability Centre. The careers team can support you through every step of your career journey, from gaining part-time work alongside your studies to exploring your career options and securing your dream graduate job. I've already done a whole video just on this building, so be sure to check that out. Just opposite the library is the Students' Union. They provide so many services from academic, finance and housing to all of the sports and societies and so much more. This is Towers, one of the on-campus bars run by the SU. They've got loads of food and drink options. Just over this bridge is more university buildings and your way to the town centre. The Sarah Swift building is home to the schools of health and social care and psychology. It's made up of laboratories and teaching spaces for anyone in these schools. The David Chiswick building is located opposite the university library over the bridge. It's home to the Lincoln International Business School and contains the Bloomberg Laboratory, a fantastic resource letting students work with real market data. There's also the Global Lounge, a space for students to socialize or study and attend the events that the Global Experiences team facilitate. Let's move on. This is the Lincoln Arts Centre. Here you can find the Zinc Cafe Bar, loads of live events, live bands, and so much more. This is the Isaac Newton building. You may find yourself here for an event in the atrium or a lecture in the biggest lecture theatre on campus. If you study computer science or engineering, you'll be here a lot. Nicola de la Haye and the Peter DeWint buildings are just opposite. Nicola de la Haye has an art shop where you can get all your art necessities. They're home to loads of art courses like design, fashion and architecture. A bit further along is the new Ross Lucas Medical Science building. Janet Lane Claypon Building is laboratories used by students in the School of Chemistry, Life Science and Pharmacy. It's located just next to the Arts Bridge. This is the Arts Bridge that takes you over the train tracks to the other side of the university. But before we go over there, around the corner there are a few more buildings to mention. The University of Lincoln Sports Centre is a hub of activity to keep you healthy and active throughout your time at university. There is a wide range of facilities including the fitness suites, sports hall, football pitches, dance, boxing, and spin studios. Joseph Bank Laboratories is open to students in the School of Chemistry, Life Sciences, and Pharmacy. It's located in the Lincoln Science and Innovation Park, just south of Pavilion's accommodation. Multi-Faith Chaplaincy offers pastoral care, a confidential listening ear, and spiritual support to anyone in our university community, no matter whether you consider yourself religious or not. And now over the bridge. Here we have the Alfred Tennyson building, which is located just opposite the Minerva building and home to loads of media related courses. There's loads of facilities like an editing suite, TV studios, radio and sound equipment. It's also home to a few other art courses like English. This is the Stephen Langton building. It's one of the smaller buildings on campus, but it's got a huge lecture theatre you can use. This is the Student Wellbeing Centre. They offer support, advice or guidance with any challenges or difficulties students may face during their time at university. This could include concerns around disability, specific learning differences, mental health or medical conditions, as well as anything that may cause emotional or psychological distress. Right next to it is the doctors. The University Health Centre is probably the easiest and most convenient GP to consider registering with as it's right here on campus. Around the corner is the Student Village, where you'll find Signet Wharf and Lincoln Courts. Bridge House is also just down there, opposite Signet Wharf, and is home to the College of Social Sciences, Lincoln Law School, School of Education, and School of Social and Political Sciences. Also at Signet Wharf, you can find the Res Life Lounge. Here you can go to loads of social events, or just to hang out. They provide loads of support, so make sure you follow them. Also in this area is the Swan, which is another SU-run bar. Like Towers, they have a wide menu and they also host quiz nights here. This is the Minerva building. Named after the Roman goddess of wisdom, it is a central part of the Brayford side of campus. It's home to the Student Support Centre, the ICT Service Desk and the Library Learning Lounge. 
Most courses can be booked into having lectures or seminars in this building. There are two food options here with a large cafeteria area and the Pier Cafe. And that concludes our tour. Just along there is a really nice walk along the Braithbit and into town. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out all of our other videos about Lincoln and follow us on all social media. See you soon.